For today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my breast feeding tips. So things that work for me and things that I'm currently doing while I'm breastfeeding my son. If you are interested, go ahead and keep on watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And then let's go ahead and get started. I knew I wanted to breastfeed before I had my son because I know there's a lot of good benefits. If you don't know my story, then you wouldn't know that I have a pituitary brain tumor and I take medication for it. And so after I gave birth, I thought I was going to go back onto that medication just to make sure everything was good with my tumor and to make sure like I can continue taking it. The doctor didn't know if I could take that medication and breastfeed. So in the beginning, I went back and forth on if I was breastfeeding or if I was on a formula feed. I did attempt to breastfeed in the hospital for the first day. And then the second day was when I brought up the concern and nobody knew if it was safe for me to take that medication. So I went ahead and started giving him formula. So I gave him formula for, I was in the hospital, I think two days. I breastfed the first day, gave him formula the second something like that I don't remember but he had breast uh, milk and then he had formula and then when I came home I was like well I need to go buy formula so I could continue to feed him so I gave him formula for a few days and I thought he was gonna just be formula fed from there on out but then I just dug deep prayed about it and then decided I'm gonna drop the medication and pray that everything works out and I'm gonna be healthy still so that I could breastfeed my son and that's what I did uh, the main concern of me not wanting to do that option was because when I tried not taking that medicine in the beginning of my pregnancy, I got super bad migraines for the first like two or three months of my pregnancy that were really bad to where my whole days were just horrible. I decided to not take the medication so that I could breastfeed and ever since then I've been breastfeeding and I haven't turned back since and now I would like to go ahead and get started as to some tips how to successfully breastfeed your child, at least things that work for me. Be patient with yourself, with your, with your child, because it's hard. They're learning how to latch and they're learning how to feed or to eat for the first time. And for you, you're having someone on you, so it's really hard to make sure they're eating enough and they're um, latching on right. So be patient because it can get really frustrating. And I have to remind myself of this even now. So the first thing I have is a swaddle or some type of burp cloth. This is helpful to wipe off the baby's face if the baby's not, um, if the baby happens to like make a mess with the milk or the milk just starts going everywhere. This is helpful to just have. And also something I do, there's like a lot of tips in this one tip, so bear with me. So what I like to do is I like to tuck this underneath my chest and then I flip it up this way. I have my baby here and then I like to wrap him kind of in it so that he's not putting his hand all in his mouth and hitting like moving everywhere. So it's easier for me to gain control of his feed. Um, something else I like to have while I'm breastfeeding is his pacifier. I struggle with my son to just simply let go of the breast when he's done eating so all he does is cry right after the milk is done if um he'll just cry so to avoid him fussing while i'm trying to switch into the other boob i put his pacifier in his mouth the next thing i use is my haka silicone breast pump this does not obviously really pump the milk but it catches and helps um kind of give a nor like a stream of milk on the other breast so if he's feeding on my left boob i will bend this back and put this on my right boob to catch my leftover milk. And I usually can get up to two to three ounces. Well, like, okay, realistically one to two ounces, but in the beginning I was getting anywhere to three to four ounces on my other boob. Um, the other things that I would use when I'm um, breastfeeding him, if I don't use, if I don't have a like a cloth um, or a burp cloth or anything with me, I will use my nursing pads. So I will like to have a nursing pad on hand. So usually I'm they're already on me. So I'll just make sure I have it on hand in case I need to like wipe anything or um, clean up any spills. Because my baby is a messy eater and right when my letdown happens, he tends to move a lot and sometimes it's too strong for him. So he makes a mess. 
The last two things I like to have when I am pumping is a storage bottle to store all of this milk and a actual bottle because sometimes I can make a whole bottle out of my extra milk or if I'm not trying to make a bottle I will store it I'll just have it in here and I'll just continue to add to it especially at night or like if you're trying to travel and you're breastfeeding mom or planning to travel I have this bag that I got with my breast pump that I store all this stuff into so I just take this bag with me everywhere I go usually like if I'm going out of town or something, I will take everything in that bag. Like I mentioned, I struggle with my son latching, so I make sure to breastfeed him several times a week. But if I have a, if he's having a bad day or I'm having a bad day and he's not latching and we're not feeding well, then I will just pump. So the breast pump I have is the Medela Pump and Style Pump. It looks like this. It just has this tube and the cord, and it comes with like a travel size, like a chargeable one. So yeah, this is what I pump with. It's I'm not doing a review on this, so if you want to know more about my breast pump, um, let me know. And maybe I can do a separate video on it. But for breastfeeding your child or giving him breast milk in general, I use that pump. And at first, I was using it with both of the things on like that on my breast. But I realized I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I didn't have one of those nursing bras to just stick it on. So what I did was I made it to where I can only use one of the sections and on my other boob I use this so that I can have one of my hands free. Okay, and so now is to know when to pump. So if I'm not physically breastfeeding my child, I try to still pump when he's eating or shortly after. So if my son's eating every three hours but I'm feeding him a bottle, um, every three hours then after I feed him I go and pump basically your breast milk regulates to how much your child's eating for example when my son was one month he was up eating between two to four ounces so my breast milk continued to progress as he ate more now he's two months he's eating five ounces and now my breast milk makes up to five ounces like minimum and so to make maximum that's when I pump how to improve your letdown or how to improve the process of breastfeeding. So whenever my son is about to get ready to eat or before I get ready to breast pump, I try to massage my breast, but this is more so like if he's not, if I'm not pumping because when I am pumping, the machine kind of massages it for you. And this just helps um, your letdown. So the letdown is basically when you feel the milk getting ready to come out. So like I said, my son is impatient, so to help that letdown come faster, if I massage my breast prior to feeding him, it just reduces the amount of times he has to suck before milk really comes out for him. And recently, something I discovered was while I'm breastfeeding him, uh, if I take my other hand and start kind of massaging, putting pressure on certain parts of my breast, it helps milk, like, it helps him empty out my breast a little bit more. Because I've noticed sometimes he will, he will fuss, like he's ready to move to the next boob, but then there's still a lot of milk in my other boob and I can feel it. So what I've been doing is trying to massage out my boob while he's on it. And that helps get out as much milk as possible. Positioning. So in the beginning, I had a C-section. So in the beginning, the football position was the best position for us to be in. And that position is basically just him in my arm like this. And I'm holding his head and he's eating. He didn't really like this position. He actually made me work for a good position. The position that he ended up liking when he was smaller was to be sitting up on my leg kind of like this and feeding this way. And he still kind of likes being that way when possible. But right now he just I just hold him like this and it works fine. I would definitely recommend trying multiple positions to see what works for you and your kid because sometimes you might have to lay down and feed him or all these different positions try because you don't know what's comfortable for you or him but try to find something that's most comfortable for both of you guys how long to feed and this is the part that I struggle with with breath breastfeeding because I don't know how much milk he is actually getting and I don't like that so typically Jedediah feeds between 5 minutes to 25 minutes and a shorter feed makes me think he didn't get as much food so what I will normally do is I will feed him from both breasts, like both breasts, like normal. But then I will take the milk that I collected in my haka, 
and I will just make a bottle and it's usually it could be like probably two or three ounces and if I feel like he didn't eat enough I'll just feed him that bottle but if I feel like he did a good amount of 10 minutes 15 20 minutes on in total then I'll and he seems fine then I'll just go ahead and leave him at that and just make sure I monitor him to know when he's ready to eat again because he usually wants to eat more often when he's breastfed because he's not getting as much milk as a five ounce bottle i usually feed him every one and a half to two hours off the breast and then with the bottle i feed him every three hours nighttime feeding so all these tools that i have um that i showed you guys all of this is at my nightstand at night because if I'm trying to breastfeed, it's important for me to have everything ready to go. Especially if I'm waking up at 3 in the morning to feed him. I need to have everything there. What's been helping me as of lately is... So if I feed him to go to sleep by 9 o'clock at night, I will pump um, at, after that feeding and make a bottle for his 3 a.m. feeding. And I will just leave it on my nightstand for him to eat um, so that I don't have to worry about cooling, um, warming up the bottle or feeding him in the middle of the night. I tried to make two to three bottles for the nighttime because I like to be able to feed him from his 3 a.m. feeding, his 6 a.m. and his 9 a.m. with the bottle and then the rest of the day I will do breastfeeding. And I didn't realize that was the last tip so if I can think of anything else it would just be to do what works for you and your child. If breastfeeding doesn't work, don't beat yourself up on it. Just kind of go with the flow and see what works at the end of the day. As long as your baby's eating and is healthy, then that's what matters. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.